Hello everyone and welcome to this horror game, which is Welcome to the Game 2.0. Basically this is a game I've played quite a while on my own, not, not on uh, not on YouTube, especially not with uh, Facecam. That's, uh, that's the first, unless, you, uh, unless of course you come to the streams. So basically Welcome to the Game is a horror game, which I will play, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So uh, let's get right into it then, shall we? Basically, Welcome to the Game is about finding a red room on the deep web. Now, red rooms are not really a thing you want to find on a real deep web, because red rooms are basically something really bad, which basically means... Um... Actually, if I can pause it real quick, I'll tell you. Basically, what a red room is, is um, there are stories going on about the deep web that there are red rooms. Red rooms are basically uh, websites where you can pay to watch someone um, getting tortured and murdered, and maybe even more. Most of the, uh, some of the um, red rooms, as they appear in uh, from the stories, is that God? I'm not, I'm not used to watching it to looking into a webcam. It's basically that um, yeah, some of the red rooms you can basically pay for the torture and um, yeah, murder. Basically, you give a certain amount of money. Most of the time it's in bitcoins, and um, yeah, if you're the highest bidder, you can uh, decide what's going to happen with the person, with the person that that they captured. Nobody knows who the person is, and most of the time nobody will miss the person that is kidnapped. Basically, if red rooms are real, I don't know, I really don't know if they are real or not. Basically, if they are real red rooms, that's fucked. That's absolutely fucked red rooms. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've been on the deep web before, um, I know how to get there, not done nothing illegal or anything, just uh, out of curiosity because I watch deep web videos every now and then from, uh, from a different YouTuber and I got interested in deep web, so I started getting on and uh, look around what I can find. It's not really that interesting, it's uh, some weird shit, some weird shit and also, every now and then you find some, uh, some fucked up shit. Also, if I look to that side, I got my uh, my recording software open so I can see how long I've been busy. So if I look over there, it's just to see um, how long I've been busy. But I think the intro is long enough, about three minutes. Let's get into this shit. I am gonna play the tutorial. Hey, so, yeah. All right, sure you want to do this? The deep web is full of fucked up shit. Even worse, the red room. There are some things you can't unsee. Alright, well, don't say I didn't warn you. The deep web is like a giant maze. There is no search engine. So you have to do some exploring to find out what you are looking for. Also, basi uh, what I'm going to tell you now is... Um, welcome to the game. This game. is um, it, it can use your microphone. Just standing right here, that's why I'm pointing like this. It can use your microphone. Because at some point you have to be quiet. If you talk, or you do something on a computer in the game, the guy comes in, and he's not going to be happy. But for this uh, playthrough, I turned off the microphone, because uh, my microphone is really sensitive, as you know. If you watch the videos, you know that everything I do gets recorded. So if I, if I press spacebar, microphone picks it up. So I turned it off, because otherwise I would press a button on accident or something, and the guy would just come in. So that's why, but if I want to, I can turn it on, but... Not for this playthrough. First thing, there is two main programs of which you'll be using on your search for a red room. Anne and Notes. Anne is a web browser that allows you to access the deep web. You can't access these sites on a normal browser. Basically, Anne is supposed to be a, a, a Tor browser. Notes is, well, uh, Notes. You can use this to take notes on which you discover. So this is a pretty important tool to use. I went ahead and set your homepage on Anne to a deep wiki page to get you started. What you are looking for are eight hidden keys on the deep web. Not all sites have them, but some do. You have to explore each page, click the links, and see what you discover. The hidden key looks like this. Each key contains an order number associated with them. This is important. Once you have found all eight keys, you have to type out the complete key in order. This will provide you with the Red Room's URL. This is where the notes system comes handy. You can keep track of all the keys you have found. Another tricky right. thing with the deep web 
is that some pages are only up at certain times of the night. If you look at the top right corner of your screen, you will notice right the there. clock. Obviously, this is your current time. So if the site you visit is not up, try again a couple hours later. Next to the clock, you will notice the day count. This keeps track of how many days have passed since you started your search for a red room. Mm -hmm. All right, now that is out of the way, let's get on to the more interesting things about the deep web. When you explore the deep web, you're exposed to hackers. These hackers will attempt to attack you. This is true, by the way. I there are hackers. I installed some tools to prevent this from happening. I could do a video about, you know, staying safe on the deep web, but that's not what this is about, so we're not going to do that. three kinds of attacks that happen to you while you browse the deep web. The first one being a denial of service attack. DOS. Better known as a DOS attack. I think everyone knows that. When a hacker attempts to DOS you, you'll be prompted with a DOS blocker tool to try and block the attack. You simply just have to click the action nodes in the puzzle and redirect the traps to the exit. This prevents the packets from flooding the home. You have to deactivate all of these things if you don't. Pro tip, you can hold the middle mouse button to speed up the process. I'm going to go ahead and launch a DOS attack on you. So get okay. Sure. Ah, oh, if only it was like this. If only it was like that. There we go. Easy as that. Okay, great. You nailed it. The second type of attack that can happen to you is a kernel attack. Hackers will try to corrupt your kernel and prevent you from using your system. Just like the DOS blocker tool, I went ahead and installed the kernel compiler tool for you to fix the corrupted code. All right, Ugh, this is all typing, so, so you test it out for yourself. this is going to be type work, so you're going to hear me type. This is all type work. Okay. It's not that bad. Include IO stream. Include sto.h. I used to program myself though, Third so this is not the hardest attack. thing I had to do. Vape attack. A vape attack will corrupt your memory segment blocks by rearranging them out of order. <sighs> Just like the previous two tools, I went ahead and installed the cloud grid for you to correct these segments. With the a corrupted memory okay. segment looks like this. And a correct memory segment looks like this. I'm going to go ahead right. and launch a vape attack on you. Ready? No. It's not that hard. Is it really a rainbow on on on, on, a, on my recording so far? I see it as a rainbow, but it shouldn't be like that. Can I just move you like that? Fuck, like that. There we go. Excellent. Now you can only be hacked if your IP address is revealed. By default, Anne hides your IP address. Some websites make this feature. Here, if you're hackers getting hacked, you know, let's simply reset the wait. If if you're getting hacked, would like to like it to stop? Just reset the modem. That's about okay. it. You are now ready to explore the deep web. I'm not, but oh, here we go about the murderers and all that. First, an urban legend. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but they say the further you go into the deep web, kidnappers will try to locate and kidnap you. So be on the lookout for this. If you think someone is tracking you, just turn all the lights off and be quiet. Don't say a word. When you think the coast is clear, turn the lights back on. Now, besides that, this I can promise you is real. Where you currently are, there is a serial killer on the loose. They call him the Breather. The Breather. This worst victims browsing the deep web or random hitchhikers. It's kind of weird, but he also calls his prey before he kills them, breathing into the phone and saying other things that don't make sense. Hence, why he's called the Breather. If you are somehow unfortunate to be a target of his, you have to block the front door with your life. He has a strict set of rules where he can only attack if he breaks through the front door. Don't ask me why. So if you feel like he's targeting you, be sure to check the front door at the house you're at. If he is there, hold the doorknob with your life and hope he doesn't get too aggressive. How do you check the door and turn the lights off? Well, once you zoom out of the computer mode by hitting the right click button, hit the A, S, D keys to look around you. Certain items will trigger a self-action you can do. Well, that's it. Good luck. Okay, so now we're on our own. Okay. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's a good start.
nothing there. I thought they added more. This one is totally real. Yeah, I know that. So, fuck. Clicked off the screen, there we go. Hmm. Nothing here. Also dead. This one is weird. Nope. Okay. I know this from from before. Okay, so it's that one. It's always that one. Hmm. Okay. Guess we're lucky. Not that lucky. Which one did I click again? This one? Yeah. Fuck. Hmm. That one. Okay, that one. Need to keep listening for stuff as well. No, I don't know what to do here. I heard someone. can be the only one who heard that. Can you not game? Can you not? The fuck was that? Oh god. I don't think the Russian is here. I think we're good. Mm. I really don't know what you have to do. They changed this. made it even harder now. Takes too long. What the hell would it be then? Can't click those. the wind. Can I pause the game? 
Yeah, I can, okay. Why is my mouse stuck? There we go. Honestly, don't know what to do now. Honestly, don't know because I completely made this different. Nothing at the bottom. God damn. What is all this? Really can't find it. Fuck it, we'll go to a different website, we'll come back later. Dr. Murder. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. Scared the fuck out of me. Kernel compiler, it's typing. here pregnant woman right or not dream place nope forgive me I think that's a okay <sighs> I want to kill myself <laughs> once masturbated for four hours straight to animate but Jesus Christ. Secretly terrified of grandma's muffins. I pound that ass to the what the fuck? I can't feel the inside of my girlfriend's penis vagina because my penis is so small. Okay. I'm your host, Killer Key, so let's get right into the news. <laughs> Why? Okay, it's not scary. I kind of hope that America goes down with the drain with Donald Trump as president, so I can move to Canada. I want free healthcare and milk in bags. You didn't tell me what to do. I love killing. Oh fuck my life! That's it's a bit weird. Okay, so nothing there. Grandma's fantasy. Jesus. Oh my god! Am I am I glad that I turned off nudity? used to be one I think wait no it's not didn't used to be one that that one that one was always dead still is okay seems like something yeah I was about to say like that seems something that could be real Jesus Christ what in the world That was definitely a step.
heard something again. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode over here. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, see you next episode. Take care.